I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome to the Underground Laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. We also create comics. And my comic that I'm working on is, uh, well, I'll show you. If you're not familiar, if you're new, uh, this is my comic book, Young and the Dead. And it's a kids versus zombie story. Think Goonies mates Night of the Living Dead. Uh, it's pretty, what was that? Oh, that sounds like the Vaculux, which is our mail delivery system. So these pipes over here lead right here, and that's how we get our mail. So look at that. Ooh, it looks like we have a letter. Now, if if you're new to the channel, you may say, well, that's a, that's a pretty tiny letter, but we can't send big parcels through this whole tube system. It's just not big enough. So what we have to do is we have to reduce the size, and uh, when they send it through, then I have to go ahead and just, it, we've dehydrated these, so we just, we take this little envelope out here that you can see, and uh, we just add a little bit of water that will reactivate it to normal size and then we can open it. But before we do that, and before I forget, we have some business to take care of. Like we do every show, we need to talk about what this 100 Days of Making Comics is all about for anyone who is new. So 100 Days of Making Comics is where you take at least 30 minutes a day every day for 100 days straight to work on your own personal comic book project, mine being Young and the Dead. Yours may be whatever, or maybe you're just watching this. Maybe you're thinking about joining up. Maybe you're thinking about doing this challenge, and I would encourage you to do so. But let's see. So today is day 17. Day 17, ladies and gentlemen. So we're moving right along. But with that, now that we've done that, let's get back to that package. All right, now that the package is normal size, we can open it. So sometimes I'm thinking, it would be cool just to open it up when it's still small, but I don't, you know, I think this might be a Kickstarter reward, and I don't want, I mean, tiny comics are cool, I like tiny comics, but they are a little hard to read, so, if, assuming this is what I think it is, let's see, oh yeah, here we go, this is from my friend Denny, Den Man, and uh, this is a Kickstarter I contributed, he is a local to Arizona, and uh, let's see what we got. We got a bunch of cool stuff here. So let's see what is in this package. This is his newest creation, Space Monsters. And he also makes figures. He also makes, you can see, and I've got one of them. I've got this, the actual Space Mummy guy. And, uh, and he's got some other figures here. And I'll put his information in the, uh, in the description, but really cool. I just love it, black and white. Uh, very different. He's got another uh, character called Cousin Harold. This is a little different from him, and I like both the different styles that he does. And that is just a whiteboard. <laughs> Nothing super exciting. Yeah, so this is his character, Cousin Harold. This is issue eight. He keeps pumping these out. And I, I love, I just love the layout of this book. He, he does, he's got color comics, and then he'll put some black and whites in there. And it's all, you know, it's classic mini comics. He'll print it on color paper. You know, he's got, it's just, it's it's like a bouillabaisse base of all these different things. You know, you get the old, you know, Xerox zine style, and then you get the color, color comics mixed in. And, you know, of course we got the old fashioned ads and everything. I really dig that. And then he's got, you know, he's got some more mini comic specials. And he always has a little cool rundown. Ooh, that one's interesting. All right, so we got that, and then oh, Jenny Spukowski is another one of his creations. So again, I'm going to leave all this information in the description so you can check out Denny's thing because now that he's completed this Kickstarter, I'm guessing he's probably going to start another one. He usually does like what it is, a, it's a subscription. It's just like the old, you know, used to subscribe to comics. If you're old enough to remember, actually in the old, you know, the old comic books, you could subscribe. Now you kind of just go to your comic book store and they keep a box for you and everything like that. But you could subscribe to comics and when they came out, they'd send them to you right to your door. So it's kind of like that. So you sign up and then throughout the year I think it's seasonal I th but I'm not sure but I know you get at least two or three throughout the year you get two or three big packages like this which is pretty cool so that's Denny that's his subscription and uh, he's Den Man on I'm guessing on the social medias uh, but we've got to get to creating our comics it's fun looking at all these comics but there's comic we're making to be done Oh, <laughs> in order to do that, we we need to get out of the underground lair and check out what an alternate reality version of me is working on. And we do that by going to the Parallelloscope. 
Got some Etsy and store envy uh, orders that I'm gonna send out. And uh, so heading on my way to the post office. Now, there's it's weird because there's a post office right by my house, um, but I don't go to that one because it's crazy. But I found this cool, it's kind of like a hidden post office. It's actually in this plumbing supply place and it's usually not busy at all. So it's very convenient and it's close to my work. So on my lunch hour at work, I just go down and drop that stuff off. And usually it doesn't take me that long. So that's where I'm going. All right, so here we've got what looks like an average nondescript uh, plumbing contractor place. But look, it's a post office, a hidden post office. So that took all of about five minutes maybe. Uh, way, <laughs> way better than the one by my house, which I would probably have been in there for like maybe 30, 45 minutes. Um, so really convenient. Now there are there are places that will actually come and pick stuff up from you. I know, I know if you order like, if you do Etsy shipping, um, they'll actually come to you, but I don't know if I wanna do that because it's really the only time I'm around where they can do that is when I'm at work and I don't want them coming into my work and me sending out package that might get kind of weird um, so anyway so I'm gonna stick with this plan it seems to be working but yeah so I'm sending out more orders so you guys are ordering more things for me I really do appreciate that I appreciate all the support and if you guys are into kind of geeky science-based stuff check out either my store online at cirqueworks.com or my Etsy just search search Cirqueworks on Etsy somewhere and uh, I do I really appreciate it and it's kind of cool just to it's it's nice to know that uh, people are liking your work and it's out there in the world and everything so thank you so much all right young and the dead the script is coming along <laughs> I'm really starting to dig it pieces are now finally beginning to fall into place I mean I had ideas and things before um, but uh, I'm uh, it's 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 starting to it's starting to go where I want it to go so Hopefully it's I think it's pretty much in my head. I've got it. I've got it pretty much planned out till the end of the the issue So it's just kind of a matter of now typing everything out and and working on dialogue and stuff like that So that is good. Um, also, I did have a chance to do a little more work on uh, Clip Studio Pro manga studio Whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm kind of learning about the I've been learning about borders and perspective and how the perspective tools work and, and all that so uh, that is cool man this this thing does some cool stuff so hopefully I'll be able to take advantage of it and hopefully once I actually start working in it um, it's it, it's gonna be because when you're when you have somebody telling you what to do it's one thing and you can just kind of follow along oh that's cool that, that this seems easy but I'm wondering if once I actually start working on it um, if the you know if I'm gonna be like oh what was that tool how do I do this or if I'm you know I don't know because learning soft new software where is always an issue but once you learn it then you know and if you're using it and it does really I mean this thing you know for comic books I mean this thing just does what I've seen so far it just blows any kind of Photoshop or anything out of the water for that stuff I mean it's specifically made for comics so um, and it just does some really cool stuff so so hopefully hopefully it will uh, it, it won't you know escape me when I start working on the project but anyway I got to get back to that so um, yeah that's that's all that's going on today with the comic and that is going to do it for another round of 100 days of making comics so we're gonna do what we always do we take the big pad of paper we take our day mess that one up. oh there we go <laughs> this thing shredded but that's alright because it, it, it is going in the trash anyway We'll see you. And that is all. Hey everyone, you've seen the process. Now you can check out the story. Issues 1 through 3 of Young and the Dead are available at my website at cirqueworks.com. Also, follow me on social media at the links listed below. Subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this series. There's much more to come.